Okay, please don't hate me. Um, I'm gonna do something that drives, uh, drives me as a student crazy and drives a lot of my students crazy, but I see finally now why you know it's so important to understand really the reason why we do things. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to solve this problem, I swear I will, but I also wanna show you how we can use this problem to what we've done before, all right? And so I'm gonna show you two different ways. They're kind of what we call the long way. You might say, oh, done with that. Let me just go to the quick way to show me the easy way. And that's fine, all right? I'm not gonna hold you to it. But if you wanna learn these two reasons, you'll have a better understanding of why we do that quicker way. And it's gonna make a whole bunch more sense with longer down the road. Trust me, it's gonna pay off. So there's two ways I want you to look at this. Here I have 2 thirds Q equals 18, all right? So if we just go back through our inverse operations, we need to look at this and say, what is happening to my variable, right? Well, it's just like 3q equals 9. My variable is being multiplied by a number here, right? Here, it's the same thing. It just means it's being multiplied by a fraction. So what do we need to do? We need to divide by a fraction. So we're going to divide by a fraction on both sides, right? Now, and it doesn't matter if you're dividing numbers that are the same or fract or you know integers that are the same or fractions are the same. When the fractions are exactly the same and you're dividing them, they're going to cancel out to or they're going to equal 1. 1 times q is still going to give me q. Now here I have 18 divided by 2 thirds. We have to remember instead of we like to when dividing a fraction what we can do is, you know, I've shown how, why this works. What we can do is we can uh, reciprocate, take the reciprocal and multiply. So rather than dividing by two thirds, what I can also do, which is an easier operation, is just re take the reciprocal and multiply across. All right. So now my final answer is going to be Q equals 18 times three, which is. Uh, let's see, we got 36, so we're going to have 54 divided by 2, Q equals 27. All right, very good. Um, the other way I like to look at it is a lot of times I like to rewrite this fraction as 2Q divided by 3 equals 18. Now this turns it into a two-step equation, which uh, is another module. But here you can still see if you just follow, right, multiplication and division doesn't matter which one you uh, uh, do first. So we can just follow both these operations. What I'm going to do is first, just because I'm deciding to, get rid of the 3 on the bottom. So I'll multiply by 3 on both sides. Therefore, I'll have 2Q as a 3 goes to 1. 1 times 2Q is 2Q equals 54. Now, undo multiplication, so I divide by 2. Q equals 27. So those are the two long ways, um, long versions for you guys to be able to uh, see the problems. And sorry, didn't, didn't see you could see that. So the quick way, though, is whenever we have a fraction times a number equals eight um, equals another, the quick way is just to multiply by your reciprocal, right? And you notice that's exactly what I did here. I really, all I did was I multiplied by the reciprocal on the other side. So when you have a fraction times a number, just multiply by the reciprocal. Why do we multiply by the reciprocal? Well, when you multiply by the reciprocal on the left side, a number times a, a, number times a reciprocal is the multiplicative inverse. So that's going to cancel out to 1, leaving you just with Q, which is now isolated, right? And then 18, um, 18 times your fraction is just going to be, again, as we already solved, 27. So there you go. Sorry, long explanation, but I hope it helps.